What's up guys? Today we have kind of another uh, unexpected thing here. Uh, this MacBook actually came from the 80-something Macs that we rescued at eWaste uh, about two years ago almost now. And uh, this was um, one of the last ones that needed something done to it. And I decided to keep it for personal use, personal collection. Because, uh, well, it's kind of beat up, which we'll, we'll get into. Um, but what had to happen with this was um, I had to have a display replaced. So you can see this is the old display. This one was actually in better condition on the lid, unfortunately. And um, the palm rest was pretty rough. It had a major crack right there. It's just fallen off. So I went ahead and swapped that out off of this donor unit that did not power. And uh, I did swap over the service tag from the original to match the serial number. This is the old service tag. Um, as you guys know on these, the service tag's on the um, palm rest on the bottom. So that's been done. As you can see, this lid is a, it's a little bit rougher than the original one was. Quite a few marks and stuff. It doesn't look like it's ever been dropped, so that's good. Um, I was going to swap out the frame because this one was rough. You can see some misalignment there. And uh, I had to lightly tap some of these uh, into place, especially right here over the display port and right here. This one's not perfect. And uh, I think this one as well. This one's a little wavy still, but they were all pretty much pretty nicked up there. Um, bottom of this machine has some wear, as you can see. I need to wipe that down. That's some goo gone that I was using. Uh, it's rough. Um, battery is not bulging. It has relatively low cycles on it. So I'm just going to run that one. The hinge works excellent. And um, the palm rest on the one that was swapped out is pretty good. It's got some minor marks right here. Keyboard's nice and cleaned up. So let's show this real quick. Display is overall good condition. It does have some yellowing around it, which uh, is pretty common up until they did the newer, um, what is it? Is it the LCD displays, I believe, um, and the unibody. So anything pre-unibody just, you know, displays are gonna age. That's just part of it. Um, this has the original 100 gig spinning hard drive in it, and it takes about five minutes to boot up, so <laughs> it's kind of rough. But I'm not going to spend $30 to get an SSD in this thing, honestly. It's mostly going to be a display piece. I'm just happy that it works. So, um, yeah, so the previous person's stuff is on here, and uh, the question is, um, when did this die? Well... Um, I've already erased most of the person stuff, but just judging by the timestamps on the last downloads and stuff like that, um, it appears to have been last used in 2013, which um, they could have just plugged in a DVI cable and ran it on a monitor, but it looks like it just stopped being used at that point. So that's probably when the original display failed on this thing. And... Uh, now we have a new display that's swapped over. It looks to be in pretty good shape, as I said. They uh, left us Adobe CS5 on this thing and Office. <laughs> so, I don't know. I might do a, a fresh restore on this one, or I might not. But let's uh, take a look real quick at our specs here. So this is the um, BTO. Well, I don't know if it was actually BTO or if it's or if this was just the higher tier, um, but it's the faster two gigahertz Core Duo available in the um, first MacBook Pro from two thousand and six. 
I just have uh, one gig of RAM in there right now. I have these other two sticks right here, but they, the computer wouldn't even boot. I mean, it would just, it wouldn't make any noise at all. So um, I may look into that more, I'm not sure yet, but one gigabyte is plenty for 1068. So this is its maximum operating system anyway. So that's not gonna be too bad. Um, Let's take a quick look at our power on our battery. So it does have only 306 cycles, which is excellent. But, um, you know, it's, you know, over 15 years old. So a uh, battery doesn't hold a charge very well. I think it gives me about an hour and a half. So that's fine. That's enough to, um, you know, sit and browse with it or whatever if I wanted to. Uh, let's take a look at our graphics. Which you'll see we do have the upgraded ATI Radeon X1600 um, with 256 megabytes of VRAM. So um, this person obviously wanted that higher spec to do uh, whatever they were doing with Adobe. Um, I didn't really see any Adobe save files or anything on here. Um, so I'm not sure exactly what this person did with this thing originally, but um, that's all we know. Um, it's overall a great machine. And um, I think I'll be keeping this one just because values are, are pretty much rock bottom right now on these things are worth about 50 bucks so i really don't care to sell it for that much so anyway that is a quick overview on the 2006 macbook pro 15 inch and um, i do have a 17 inch down here that was given to me by my high school teacher a couple of years ago um, it's an excellent condition, but it needs a motherboard. So I'm going to try and source that. Hopefully we can get that going as well to add to the collection. And, um, until then, we'll let you guys go. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.